Hello and welcome to another video to which I have no idea where it's going. It's the beginning of the week. I think I'm going to do some more electrical work. Not quite sure. We may end up doing some of the cladding. Again, not quite sure. So this episode is going to be a bit of a up in the air kind of episode, which I guess most of them have been. But I think for the time being, I'm going to focus on starting to tidy up these wires on the right hand side. Hopefully get some spotlights started to be wired up. I mean actually connect something together. I've not done any of that yet. Still got some more wiring to feed around, especially for the sockets. Not done that yet, but that's an easy wire. I think it's just one or two cables across the top and down there. So it should be pretty simple. And also maybe have a look at underneath the driver's seat, how I'm going to sort that out. Cause I've got to put the leisure battery in there and all the other bits and bobs and I've still not got anything to fix it with yet. And I've not connected one wire together. It's a bit daunting the first time actually connecting a wire. I don't really know what I'm doing and I don't want to do it wrong. So I keep putting it off really. Anyway, happy with the floor. If you saw that last week, if you didn't, little link up here, how we got on with the floor. It's now fully finished, I believe, sort of. Well, there's little bits to do, but you know, it's down. At least it gives us a nice working surface now. Onto the dry stuff. Happy days. So yeah, let's crack on Sam and stop talking. Right, so this is what I'm looking at at the minute. God knows what I'm doing. Let's see what happens. How are you getting on? Good. I'm really hot in this sun. <laughs> How many coats have you done now? This, this is, is the second. second. Yeah, but there's all little bit. Second coat or second, like, thick coat? No, I've done one whitewash and then one coat. Oh, right, yeah. So that's the whitewash where you can still see. Yeah. And now this coat, but you can still see a few of the little knots. Yeah. Where we put the that, knot in. So. That knotting solution is not great then, is it? Or is it just to stop it weeping? That's to stop it weeping, so you have to cover it up. So you mainly do two cuts anyway. Mm. So. Got me being. She hits <laughs> Right, so I'm going to attempt to wire these lights up for the first time in my life. So as you can see, they've already got bullet connectors on there. So I'm just testing, because I've never done it before, how to crimp someone's cutting the hedges got this a nice handy tool which is very good for removing the sleeve and then also I want to remove a bit from there so I've got that showing and then this is what I believe I need to do so I've got my crimp and I've got my crimping tool and it needs to go in here for non-insulated crimps if you can hear a word I'm saying so then get your wire so that it just goes in there but the red bit is cradled by the larger bits and then hopefully that's now crimped it so that's not going anywhere and these these bits here just bend them in a little bit then use the crimping insulated crimping bit like that clamp it short I think so that it. So now that should be tight. But one thing I did forget to do, I should have put this insulated sleeve on first. That goes in like that. That's all insulated. Then red wire. Wait for the car to go past. Then red wire to red wire. Plus plug it in. I don't want to do it because it probably won't come out. So yeah, plug it in there, and then that's it. So why did you do that? Well, I need to do that so I can connect all the lights together to the cables, mm. obviously. So, I just did a bit of practice, that was all, because I've never done this before, so that's not bad for a practice, really. Is it working? Uh, yeah. Yeah? So, yeah, I'm just going to do that now. Hopefully, I can get them all done today. Get in there. I can see it's a bit dark. <laughs> right, crack on yeah. them. I will do. <laughs> So I've got the positive and negative and the AC DC cable or AC cable, whatever it is, fed through those grommets. That took a long, long time. They're popping out here, coming out of a hole at the back. And they're going to go somewhere down there. Up 
Bloody hell, that was hard. It was so stiff and so thick to get through. It's not easy. This cable, which is for the smart charger, can't get that through the hole, so what I'm thinking of, because I need it anyway, feed it through behind the unit. And that way if we break down, I could just unplug it, get the charger, and then charge the main battery from the bonnet. Rather than feed it all through, then I've lost it and can't get access to it, so it's kind of a blessing in disguise that it don't fit. Stupid anyway. <laughs> right, bloody hell. Absolutely hate this. Rubbish. <sighs> Alfie boy. Say hello. Hello. Subscribe, please. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Hello. The way that I showed you earlier on. Oh, what did I do? These bullets that I was going to use before. Just put on the end and crimp together. Well, because this is quite thick, it's like 1.5 millimeter thick cable, it's hard to then join two reds together and put them inside one of these little things so it's not thick enough. So I can't actually crimp them together. So instead a friend of mine, who's an electrician, has given me these, which are connectors, along with these little things. Is that, is that focusing? Along with these little things. Is it focusing? Yeah. So the idea being is that my two reds go into this gray thing, which is in there, like like that and then you screw down that clamps this metal piece keeps it in place same with the black and then on this side I've had to remove my bullets from the lights so I just trimmed the wire fed the wire up and now I'm just putting a bit of conduit just to protect that extra excess so yeah a bit of a different method hopefully it's safe the electrician friend says it is probably it's somewhere in the comments will be like no it's not safe you can't do that <laughs> but I can always take them back out and do something different if I need to Right, so that's the first light fixed. So now I just need to put all the crap back up here, like so. Right, so I'm hoping that this will just snap in now. And that's it. It's in. Woohoo! First LED light installed. That looks so cool. Yeah, I think that looks yeah. professional. It's real. It looks like a pro's done that. Huh. Oh. And the big test is obviously if it works. But I can't test that yet until I've figured out how to use the battery and stuff because I have no idea what I'm doing. So, yeah. Five hours later. So they're all nice and secure in. If they fell out now, that'd be funny. <laughs> they're all nice and secure. So now all I need to do is put the corresponding red wire with the red wires, and weirdly the blue wire with the black wires. So positive and negative from the light. But I can't use my bullet connectors, so I need to chop them off. So I'll chop them off, but I need to remember which is the positive and negative because the cable isn't color coded. So what I've been doing is doing one at a time, stripping it. Then I've got a little sleeve, so I put a red sleeve over it. So then I know that that's the positive wire, because I'm smart like that. <laughs> right, so I do one at a time. Positive cable in the positive hole. Tighten that up. There, so that's pretty secure in there. When I say this, like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. <laughs> then I've got a black, because I've only got black and red sleeves, so 
positive and neutral. I put my black sleeve over that one, so then I know at a later date that that one is the negative. I don't think you can even see what you're doing. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> they get the idea, they've seen the B-roll beforehand. Right, so I think that's done. Now hopefully I can just put that back in. Let's just do another snag test. Yeah, looks all right to me. Feed that in there. And it's in. Get so good at this. How professional is that, okay? That's five lights in. I need to check and see if they work next. Right, I'm trying to figure out these electrics and it's driving me mental. So what I've come up with so far is because when we enter the van using the sliding door, obviously the van lights will automatically light up when you, like in a car, when you open the door, the lights come on. So I still want that to happen, but I also want a switch where I can turn it on and off, where I can have that happen, that not happen, or I can also turn on the van lights from the leisure battery. So this is what I've come up with here. It's taken me a goddamn long time to figure out. Obviously you've got the negative, and positive. And I've got this dual switch here, which allows for two items to switch on and off. So the middle one means off. That's the first item on, that's the second item on. So these replicate the two separate light circuits, if you will. So we've got one circuit, which is for the van, um, permanent van lights, and then for the leisure van lights, if you will. So with this, set it all up. All the negatives obviously go back to the negative point, and then all the positives go to the switch. And then that, so this one here, positive to that one, and then positive to that side of the switch, then positive from there to positive of the other one. And then they've got a common positive that goes back to the power supply or whatever. So here, if I do that one, that switches that one on. Put it back in the middle, they both turn off. And then if I do the other one, the second one should switch on enough. So I'm hoping I got that bit right. So that's problem number one solved. Took me a while to do. Problem number two is for the leisure battery and leisure lights I have a dimmer. Figuring out how to use the dimmer took a while so I'll try and mock that up now. So give me a sec. So now this is my dimmer switch which has four cables coming out. It has the negative going in, a negative going out, a positive going in, positive going out. So the negative going in goes directly to the negative of the battery or the negative of your fuse, I'm assuming. And the positive going in as well does the same, it goes to the positive of the battery or the pos positive of the fuse. Then the positive out and the negative out go directly to your light source or your load or whatever you want to call it. So that goes down here, so positive and negative. That then comes out goes into my first light and then it comes out and connects to my second light. So I connected two lights for this one because I wanted to check that they both dimmed equally and that I didn't accidentally do it in series or do something wrong. So hopefully when we tap it, they turn on. If we hold it, it should dip. So I think you can like just set it, turn it on, turn it off and it goes back to the right setting. And you can hold on to it and then they dim on and off. So you happy with that? Hold it. Do you think? <laughs> well, yeah, it's sort of in my head, but now I need to figure out how to connect multiple switches. That's confusing the hell out of me, because I now need to figure out how to have that dimmer switch work, which will be located over there somewhere for all the lights. But then also by the sliding door, I want to have that other switch, the rocker switch for the permanent van lights and the leisure lights. So that leisure light switch needs to work in conjunction with this dimmer. And that I don't know how to do, so I'm going to have to try and figure that out. It's taken ages. And by all means, this is not a tutorial because I know I, I have not a clue what I'm doing. So yeah, if you You're can. You're working it out though, step by step. Mm. Yeah, I know, but what happens if I've done something stupid and it ends up burning the van down? You know what I mean? Don't say that. Well, I don't know, do I? Yikes. Oh yeah, try my best. Eesh. So I wish me luck. Good luck. Hello everyone. Right, so a lot has changed since the last clip. Basically, everything you've just seen is a lot of bollocks and I've changed it all. So I'll start off with what I did change. So you probably saw some really nice B-roll because I was pleased with it, of me connecting those things. Is it gonna show you? Yep. I'll be connecting those things with these little grey 
things there. I didn't like it, it was too cumbersome, it looked messy, so I wasn't a fan. So I went online and I found these. So I found these which are these little connectors which are called Wago or something. But basically it has three little holes and you put your cables in there, snap them together and then that locks them in and it creates your circuit. So rather than having to put everything in these things and then clamp them and whatever, I saw some other YouTubers use it, it seemed all right. So I've gone and done that for every single light. As you can see up here, look how much neater that looks. So basically you've got your both negatives going into one and then the negative from the light going into that and then both positives going into one with the positive from the light. So they just work a lot easier. And then if I ever need to change them out, I just have to unplug them. Like they just snap out, that's it. Really simple stuff, so. I thought that was easy enough, so they're all changed. Again, this isn't a tutorial, so don't go by what we do. We have no clue what we're doing. So now all the lights are in. However, I did not have a Scooby-Doo on how to wire these up the way I wanted to, where I wanted two switches and a dimmer. So I wanted to switch by the door, switch by the tailgate, and then the dimmer here. Couldn't figure it out for the life of me. However, Carla's dad is a net, or oh, used to be an electrician. So he came around, showed me exactly what to do, and we figured it out. So I'll quickly show you what we did there. So I had these switches to begin with, which are just single two-way, or I don't know what way they are. But anyway, they've only got two prongs. And these wouldn't work. So instead, we had to get these ones which have three props. So what you have here, the middle one is a common negative. So that negative goes back to the light. And these two here connect to the other switch which is at the other end of the van. So the idea being is that you're breaking the positive wire from the lights and connecting the two switches together, if that makes sense. So positive from one end goes to one switch, then the two positives connect each switch, and then positive from that one goes to the last last light. I think that's how it worked anyway. But that's all working now. So now all we need to do is check to see if the lights work. Alright, let's test it. So I've got my dimmer switch here, which is going to be the start of the circuit. I'll do the negative first. These are just a clamp on onto it. And I know I should have a fuse, but it doesn't matter, I've tested it before, it'll be fine. Ooh. Right, right, so that's all connected up. They should now work if I turn on one of the switches. Let's start with this one over here. Still not worked. A few moments later. Ta -da! Yes, we've got light. Now, Beautiful. now I need to test to see if this switch over here turns them off. Success. Now, I need to make sure that one turns it back on. Oh yeah, this is good. What about dimming them? And then, right, so this is a touch dimmer, right? So you've got to touch it to hold it and turn it off or whatever. If I touch it, they should all go off. They've all gone off. I'll touch it again, they're back on. Touch it again, and they're off. So now if I hold it down, should dim. Yay! Success. The only caveat, I love that word, is if I turn them off here now, using the dimmer, so if I turn them off, so they're off now, and then I go back to my switches, nothing happens because the dimmer has sort of set the limit to zero, so I've always got to make sure that the dimmer is on full for these to work. But it works, it's probably a better way to figure this out and probably will end up getting someone to sort it out properly later on but for now I'm happy and that's how I want it. Also ignore everything else that you see in the van that will come in next week's episode or the week after, whichever episode we decide to do. So now we've got to end the video aren't we? We never end these videos properly. So that's it for this week, We're not, we haven't really got much done, it's been a bit crap but we've got lights which is the most important thing. Yeah. So if you like this video, if you liked this video <laughs> Give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, that'd be great. See more videos, see how we get on. Also, ring the bell, all those nice things. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.